Hello divers, this is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips and techniques video. In this video we'll be talking about lifting heavy tank rigs. For this video it's safety first. So outside of a real emergency uh, no dive is actually worth physically hurting yourself for. So uh, keep this in mind uh, as we go through this video. What we want to discuss in this video is how to safely load or unload a rig in a vehicle or to safely don or doff a rig at a remote site. We suggest the following rules for lifting heavy rigs. Number one, use two people. Number two, don't lift the rig at all. Number three, use mechanical advantage. And four, use a distributed lift. In this video, you see two people lifting a rig. Each person is holding on to a valve knob and part of the harness. Lifting the rig in this manner obviously halves the load between the two people. But the question is, what can you do if there's no one around to help you? The answer is, if nobody is around to help, don't lift the rig at all. So, how do you not lift the rig? Well, the answer is to use a table or a cart. Of course, you have to already have the rig on the table or cart to start with. Two tables are very good for this purpose. They are both made by Lifetime, uh, the table company, and uh, there is a smaller table which is lower uh, and it is uh, number 280488 uh, for $49. And the second table is 80668, which is a little taller, 26 inches tall. And it is also a little more expensive at $59. Uh, there are probably other tables out on the market, but these are the ones, uh, the two tables that we found to, uh, to most uh, meet, uh, best meet our needs. This is a picture of the shorter lifetime table. And this is a picture of the taller lifetime table. Here is a picture of the folding leg mechanism uh, that is on each one of these tables. Uh, once the legs are folded underneath the table, uh, they're very compact. Here's a picture of me sitting on the lower table. Uh, as you can see, uh, my uh, legs are at a 90 degree angle. Here's a picture of me sitting on the taller table. As you can see, uh, I'm not actually sitting on the table. I'm sort of squatting next to it with the tanks resting on the table. An alternative to a table is the use of a projector cart. Uh, projector carts are uh, especially useful for transporting uh, heavy rigs uh, to a vehicle for loading or unloading, uh, and also for storage of the rig uh, in uh, a garage or a storage area. The projector cart has built-in wheels, uh, but it, uh, the wheels are not designed for off-road use. Uh, and the particular cart, uh, which um, is going to be illustrated uh, next, is uh, modified with a polymer uh, surface and also with non-skid strips on top of the polymer surface. Here's the Bodega Dog modeling the projector cart. Here's an image of a heavy rig on top of the projector cart. Here's an image of the heavy rig being transferred from the projector cart to the pickup tailgate. So if you use a projector cart, it is not necessary to ever uh, unload or load the heavy rig onto the cart or the pickup truck tailgate. Another way that you could deal with handling heavy rigs uh, is through the use of mechanical advantage. So how do you use mechanical advantage in this case? What you can do is you could use the edge of the table to hold some of the weight while you pull the tank onto the table. The final technique that you could use is called distributed lift. In this case, what we're trying to do is to split the dead weight of the heavy rig between your arms and legs when you stand up. Here you see me pushing down with both hands while I'm standing up. By distributing the weight between my arms and my legs, it is much easier to stand up. Those are our four techniques for handling heavy rigs. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. Thanks for watching.